Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be putting you through how to draw the true shape of the section of the first room of the cylinder. So in doing this, I'm going to be using a circle with a radius of 2 cm. So I'll just pick my compass and measure 2 cm. Alright, so right here I already have my circle. So the next thing is I'm going to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. So I already have a video that explains that. If you check my playlist on technical drawing, you know, I, I show, there are two videos there that explain how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts. There are two videos actually, so either using your compass or your protractor. So right here, I'll be, like I said, I'll be dividing into 12. I'll be using my protractor. So I'll be noting at 90 at uh, 30 degrees interval. So with this now I'll divide this line into 12 equal parts. I mean the circle rather into 12 equal parts. Next thing is to project this line, just follow along. So for this point and then this point. So I also do the same thing horizontally. So this point here, I'll you know, call it uh, point zero. One, two, three. Okay, it remains one. So I haven't done that. So I'm drawing this line on the line that we extend on the vertical line that I extended. So now on this point, I'm going to draw a line at 90 degrees. That's the perpendicular line. So let me call this AB. So I'll be using the, uh, my protractor to get the perpendicular line. So I also do the same thing for this, for the line that extend through like that project like this. So I just give it some distance apart. So. Uh, now the length we have here from this other point, I'm going to bring it here. 
So to do that, I'll just measure it. So let me just note. So from here to here is um this is one, two, three. So I'm using faint lines. So on this line, this will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, it will be 0, 1. so also this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So now we are going to join some, um, some point of intersection. If you look at this 0, I hope it's clear. Okay, so from this 0, this is a line. And this is it touching the one zero. So this is this point. Then this is one. So this is line one. This line like this. Then it where it is touching line one on this side. This is it. So if you follow that series like that, you are going to be having this point, this point, this point, the one here, the one here. So just take note of this point. So these are the points that we are going to be joining together. So by the time we join those points, we are going to be that is going to represent the true shape of the of the section. So in doing that, we are going to be using our French curve. So I've been introducing the French curve. So I'm going to be using the French curve to join those points together. So I'm using the French curve already. So I've been able to join these points. This to this point, so remain the other part at the other point. So I'm going to have to complete the remaining part. So those points I you know I was touching it earlier. So that means this point here, here and here this point this point so you go ahead once you join them together you'll be able to have this this shape so what we are having right here represents the true shape of section so this is how you go about to draw the true shape of the section of the first room of the cylinder so uh, if you find this video helpful, uh, please click on the thumbs up button to, uh, to give this video a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to PA Academy, uh, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. You can also visit our website, paacademy.co, paacademy.co. Also check out our playlist for more helpful video under technical drawing, and I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.